It's gonna go natural. Okay, so I did this for Sally's, now I'm gonna do it for Marshalls and Ross. Um, I just get conditioner here, so I'm gonna show you how I choose brand and conditioners. Uh, Marshalls, Ross, and TJ Maxx, I guess. Ever since um, Tresemme Naturals like just started playing up, and well, Tresemme started playing up and not having the naturals, not having the perfectly undone, which I also liked. I'm just gonna pick up random conditioners that cost like 50 cents an ounce or around there like not more than a dollar an ounce so that's my benchmark and I'm gonna go in there and show you how I pick decent ingredients um, within that price range okay so we're about to head in it's Marshalls and there's Ross next to it I guess you probably can't see it with the stupid glare but I'll show you again when I get close to it TJ Maxx is on the other side of the mall so I'm not gonna do it this time here go Marshalls we're going in <laughs> I guess it's over there. Maybe it's over there. I don't come here that often, you can tell. Okay, I see here. Okay. We are in business. I'm just gonna show you a quickie of what they have. Um, not even seeing any that I've used before, per se. So, I'm gonna really have to go from the beginning. Oh, I have used this Avalon one, but it was horrible, 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 horrible. I used the conditioner in that. Don't get that one. <laughs> it's really drying. Um, all right. So. First you look for some like a conditioner. I usually just look to see if it has any silicones and which is most of them to be honest. Um this one looking like a winner. You got lucky early. Yep, I mean I stay that long because I have stuff to do so $7.99 for 32 ounces we're in business right, let me see if I find anything else something that says blonde shell most likely has silicones on it actually don't see any but the ingredients are just too trash for me <laughs> the EDTA, the linoleal and limonene and um Bethel, Chorus, Salu, whatever, those, yeah, it's enough for me. What is this? Like most of them, especially when they talk about blonde and damage and stuff, they're going to have silicone in there. Color last going to have silicones in there. I think I got, this looks familiar. Yeah, the EO, I really like the other EO, so I'm probably gonna get this one. Because the EO tends to have good ingredients. So, yep. And I just usually get a bunch to like last me for like a month or two, so I don't have to keep coming back every two seconds. So, yeah. 9.99, 32 ounces. My little car, I stole this car. <laughs> Alright, what else? The company I shall not be named. <laughs> I almost took a, my hand, like, what's that? And I was like, oh, no, it's shame my shoe. Never mind. Ooh, I do like to go for Giovanni, but that shampoo. The color stuff I'm not even gonna bother to. So I've heard so much about red can, but high rise and volume. Benzyl alcohol. Like when it says volumizing, it most likely has alcohol in it. So it's another tip. 
color most likely as silicones, volumizing most likely as alcohols. Thicker most likely as silicones. So, so teeny mini. C E D T A and then Meticone. I mean, I don't even bother to go to, to Ross actually. Got a good enough find here. Stay away, away from Avalon. Trash, trash, trash. Body wash. Tea tree conditioner, but Giovanni. <laughs> Have I tried this? I don't even remember. Honestly, I could probably just get it. I know that they tend to be silicone free and can try it out. I know I like the Trader Joe's, but how much is it? What's the price tag? $12.99. Alright, we in business. So I got my 50 cents an ounce mark. interesting it's kind of right down the middle so I wouldn't call it quite worth it but it's not the worst but the limonene is a no this is okay but I, I got better stuff so probably skip this $14.99 too it isn't quite it's still pretty expensive so yeah no more shea moisture sea salt lotion body wash body wash I don't need anybody wash. I almost thought this was a hair gel. I'd have been like all up on it. <laughs> shower gel. This is interesting. It's apple cider vinegar shampoo, but I'm trying to stay focused. I can get the shock real quick. Doesn't look super moisturizing. Just looks pretty. Oh, is that some Jane Carter? So price tax. Five ninety nine. Two dollars. Five ninety nine. Again, like a two dollars saving. Not really enough for me to. Those. So these I think have silicones in them or something, don't they? I don't use urea when I can avoid it. I mean, I'll go too fast for you guys. But yeah, I don't use parts with urea. So I guess that's it and get out of here. Heading to the checkout with these. So I ended up with the EO and the Giovanni, which is not super exciting, but at least I know the brands. I haven't used these particular products before that I remember, but I think that I've tried conditioners from them before, so I'm pretty confident that they'll get me where I'm going. Good price, good quality, and that's how I shop. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Russ type stores for cheap, good conditioners.